Hello and welcome. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Thursday, June the 24th. Today we continue to read in the book of Hebrews chapter 13 and we will read verses 15 through 25. And here is the word of the Lord. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. And do not forget to do good and share with others for such sacrifices, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account. Do this so that their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no benefit to you. Pray for us. We are sure that we have a clear conscience and desire to live honorably in every way. I particularly urge you to pray so that I may be restored to you soon. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom the glory forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I urge you to bear with my words of exhortation, for in fact I have written to you quite briefly. I want you to know that our brother Timothy has been released. If he arrives soon, I will come with him to see you. Greet all your leaders and all the Lord's people. Those from Italy send you their greetings. Grace be with you. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled, Don't Forget, written by Carolyn Parsons. When a child is rushing around in the morning getting ready to leave, there is often a parent saying, don't forget. Parents want to make sure that your child has everything that they need and is properly prepared for the day. We find similar sentiments at the closing of this letter in Hebrews. The writer of Hebrews knew that times had been difficult. There were plenty of opportunities to become discouraged and give up on their faith. Here, however, we have words encouraging the believers to not to forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. From verse 16. The believers are encouraged to press on, to continue in their faith, and not to give up on doing good. While circumstances were difficult, it did not mean that God had abandoned them and left them on their own. In fact, it's quite the opposite. God equipped them with everything they needed to do His will. As you face your day, remember to praise God through worship and doing good for others. Don't forget that God will help you with everything that you need. Living for Jesus by Thomas O. Chisholm is the hymn. Living for Jesus, a life that is true, striving to please Him in all that I do. And from the 112th Psalm, verse 7, They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. And this is your daily devotion for Thursday, June the 24th. Have a blessed day.